hello students happy dipavali now we shall discuss chapter 22 perimeter and area the rest portion of the sum number 16 length of a rectangle is 20% more than its breadth what will be the ratio of the area of a rectangle requires a piece of paper of size 17 cm by 5 cm let suppose breadth is x why uh, we um, uh, x as um, breadth because length is 20% more than its breadth therefore length will be x plus x into 20% 20% of x that means 6x by 5 after calculation it will be 6x by 5 now area of the rectangle will be x into 6x by 5 this mean 6x square by 5 side of the area is equal to breadth of the rectangles breadth of the rectangles what is the breadth of the rectangles this is x therefore side of the um, uh, area of a square of the square is will be x therefore area of the square will be x square ratio of the rectangle to that of square this means 6x square by 5 this is the area of the rectangle and this x square means the area of the square therefore the ratio will be 6x square x square by 5 divided by x square this means x square x square will be omit and the answer will be 6 is to 5 okay next number 17 how many envelopes can be made up out of a sheet of paper 120 cm by 85 cm supposing one envelope requires a piece of paper of size 17 cm by 5 cm let length of the sheet is 125 cm and breadth of the sheet is 85 cm area of the sheet is 8, 8. this will be 125 into 85 square cm we will not uh, multiply this to figure we will remain this figure as it is now length of the envelope is equal to 17 cm and length of the breadth of the envelope is 5 cm area of the envelope is 17 cm multiplied by 5 cm this will be remain as it is because we have to divide this by this therefore number of envelope is equal to this by this is be 125 number of envelope is 120 next number 18 two plots of land have the same perimeter one is a square of the side 60 meter whether the other is rectangle whose breadth is 1.5 decameter which plot has greater area by how much let's see side of the square is 60 meter area will be 3600 square meter okay so perimeter will be 4 into side this means 240 meter suppose the length of the rectangle is x meter therefore um, uh, perimeter will be 2 into breadth 1.5 decameter 1.5 decameter means 15 meter we have to convert decameter into meter now perimeter will be equal to 2 into x plus 15 and this will be equal to 240 according to uh, our sum according to our sum this will be equal to 250 uh, because two plots of land two plots of land have same perimeter so uh, 2 into x plus 15 is equal to 240 and from this x is equal to 105 meter 
now area will be 105 into 15 1575 square meter this is the area of the square so the area of the square sorry this will be the area of the rectangle so the area of the square is greater area of the square what is the area of the square area of the square is 3600 we have done at first and this is the area of the this is the area of the rectangle okay sorry this is the area of the rectangle 1575 now the area of this so the area of the square is greater by how much 3600 minus 1575 this means 2025 square meter the area of the rectangle is greater by 2025 square meter next number 19 if cost 8704 to fence a square field at the rate 8.50 per meter find the area of the field cost of fencing is 8704 rupees rate per meter is 8.50 so the area is equal to this rupees divided by per meter square expenditure total expenditure divided by per meter square expenditure this will be 1025 uh, area 1025 meter square okay 10 sorry 1024 meter square find the area of the field area of the field 1024 meter square now perimeter of this square is 1024 meter so 4 into side is equal to 1024 why the perimeter of the square is equal to 4 into side we have to find out the uh, area of the field area of the field so uh, 4 into side is equal to 1 plus side is equal to this divided by 4 that means 256 meter so area is equal to side into side 256 into 256 this means 65536 square meter okay uh, here we have done the area of the yes, uh, so the perimeter this means perimeter not square perimeter is equal to 1.1024 meter okay. now number 20 a room is 8 meter long 7.6 meter wide and 3.5 meter high the walls are walls are to be distempered allowing 25 meter square for doors windows etc this means 25 square meters will not have to be distempered find the total area to be distempered in the case of room length is 8 meter width is 7.6 meter and height is 3.5 meter area of four walls formula is 2 into length plus breadth into height this means 2 into 8 plus 7.65 into 3.5 it is 109.2 meters square this will be the area of four walls area of doors and windows is 25 centimeters it have it is um, done uh, it is uh, given in the, uh, the question it is given in the question 2.25 meter uh, area of door 25 meter square therefore total area to be distempered is equal to 109.2 meter minus 25 meter square is equal to 8 uh, 84.2 meter square this will be the answer Number 21, the walls and ceiling of a room 7 meter long, 5 meter wide and 3.5 meter high are covered with paper 5 decimeter, sorry 6 decimeter wide. Find the length of the paper required if no length less than 1 meter can be bought. Not less than 1 meter, paper will be not less than 1 meter. Here room length 7 cm wide 5 cm length uh, height 3.5 cm therefore area of four walls 
uh, as um, uh, previous sum uh, area of the four walls into two is equal to two into seven plus five into three point five is equal to eighty four meter square. Area of ceiling is equal to length into breadth seven into five is equal to thirty five meter square. Total area to be covered this plus this one one nine meter square. Wide of the paper is equal to six decimeter. This means point six meter. We have to uh, remain the same unit as area and uh, paper. Six meter and point six meter. Meter meter. Okay. Length of the paper is equal to one one nine divided by point six. This means one ninety eight point three three meter. As paper uh, must be. Uh, one meter minimum one meter. Therefore, length of the paper will be one ninety nine meter, one nine eight point three three meter, not one ninety nine meter. Paper will be required. This is the answer. Okay, thank you very much.